as we discussed yesterday on the broadcast. As Christian people, we believe that God is the sustainer of life. He's the giver of life. And life, the very existence of life, is because of God. So we add to our teachings from yesterday when he talked about, and then we're talking about uh, Brother Peter, Second Peter chapter 1, verse number 3, the words life and godliness. And then he says, through Christ we find glory and virtue. And I gave you a definition yesterday, or, or in yesterday's broadcast, virtue, quality of moral righteousness, absence from immorality. Well, there's two schools of thought here. One are things that we're taught by our parents, we're taught uh, by our uh, pastors and teachers in Sunday school, and we're taught basic principles of life that are just things that are just, and let's just use the expression, just common decency. And then there's a uh, further step that comes to where these things become a part of us. In other words, we don't have to be constantly scolded and reminded to do good and to live a moral life. But there's something that happens within us, and this happens when a person comes to the reality of God. They become to the reality of spiritual life and a coexistence of your own self who has been given over to the pursuit of spiritual things that leads us to virtue because the very heart and very nature of the Holy Spirit is to teach us, I want to use the expression, right from wrong, which brings us to the concept of righteousness. In our definition of the uh, Uh, terms that we've talked about here in virtue, it said quality of moral righteousness. So we look at this word and we see the word that stands out here, right, right. So you say to yourself, who establishes what is right and what is wrong? Well, if it's left to the human heart and human devices, Scripture tells us that the heart of man is deceitfully wicked. So, who establishes right and wrong? Because, to say this, a standard has to be set as to what is righteousness, and the only thing that can satisfy that is a person who's never failed in falling into the grips of sin. And that would be our Savior, Jesus Christ. So we say, he establishes what is right and what is wrong. Life and godliness will put us on a path and a journey that would seek him, that he would be the one that would minister to our heart to cause us to live righteous. This is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast.